if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on Fris Thank you very much. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Khokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. Continuing with the topic of firearms and its mechanics. Today I am going to discuss the choking of smooth board weapons and the learning objectives of this lecture will be that we will learn what is meant by smooth board weapon, what is dispersion or fanning out of pellets after coming out of the barrel, what is choking in smooth board weapons and what are advantages of choking. So smooth bore. The barrel is smooth throughout its length. It has not been grooved by rifling. So this is a picture of smooth bore barrel. Whereas you can see on the left, there are rifled barrels. You can see the lanes and grooves which are spirally arranged running from the muzzle to the chamber. Now what is dispersion or fanning out phenomena? When the smoothboard weapon is fired, the pellets, pellets disperse soon after their exit from the muzzle. And this dispersion increases with the range. This is a pictorial diagram showing the dispersion from various distances. This is, this is an other picture showing the dispersion and also showing the choking what is the effect of choking? So what is choking? The degree of dispersion can be controlled to some extent by reduction in the muzzle and bore. In firearms, a choke is a tapered construction of gun barrel at the muzzle end. Chokes are most commonly seen in shotguns, but are also used on some rifles, pistols, and even in air guns. Chokes are almost always used in modern hunting and target shotguns to improve its performance. The reduction is significant but not more than 0.3 to 0.4 millimeter. This is called choking. That means reduction in the caliber at the muzzle end. Chokes are implemented as either screw in chokes selected for a particular application or they are fixed permanent chokes, integral part of the shotgun barrel. Screw in chokes can be changed from various chokes, but fixed are fixed. They cannot be changed. Chokes may be formed at the time of the manufacture, either as a part of the barrel by squeezing the end of the bore down over a mandrel or by threading the barrel and screwing in which becomes an integral interchangeable choke tube. That means the barrel is threaded and the end 
is is designed in a such fashion that the choke tube can be changed from one size to the other these are various chokes which can be fixed up and these are the threads you can see the threads in the lower diagrams so they can be screwed up in various sizes to the top of the barrel at the muzzle end chokes may also be formed even after a barrel is manufactured by increasing the diameter of the inside of a barrel creating what is called a jug choke or by inst installing a screw in chokes within the barrel so after manufacturing they can also be made in a such a fashion that they can be either jug choke or screw in chokes the jug choking this is you can see in the diagram there is slight increase in the size in the middle and on the muzzle end it is again reduced this is various other shapes of the jug chokes however a choke typically consists of a conical section that smoothly tapers from the bore diameter down to the choke diameter followed by a cylindrical section of the choke diameter that means in the end there is cylindrical section in manufacturing one maker of interchangeable shotgun chokes uses a conical portion about 3 times the bore diameter in length so that the shot is gradually squeezed with the minimal deformation the cylindrical section is shorter usually 15 to 19 mm that means 0.6 to 0.7 inches thank you very much that's all about choking